I'm a PR person, so it's all about that credibility. Um, and obviously, I think there's some something to say about being vetted by the podcast host. That's like, I am inviting you on. I am assuming the cost of this production, but I believe what you have to say is valuable, is impactful. So I'm willing to give you this kind of precious real estate, if you will. Yeah. And the really cool thing about podcasting is it's a very intimate medium. So if you think about social media, if you think about YouTube, blogs, you may get a couple minutes of someone's attention. Three seconds is how is how Facebook measures video plays. So imagine like you're trying to compete for three seconds of someone's attention. That's not very valuable. But with podcasting, one of the craziest stats that has been shown to be true time and time again is that the vast majority of people listen to the entire episode. And most episodes are between 25 and 40 minutes long on average. So you're talking about 25 to 40 minutes of time talking to someone who's interested in the topic that you're talking about. That's incredibly valuable. Like you cannot replicate that anywhere else on the internet. And so being able to have that as at your disposal in order to gain exposure, in order to connect with an audience. And like you said, being vetted by the podcast host, the people that listen to that show every single week, they tune in because they trust that person. They may have showed up because the topic was relevant for them, but over time they subscribe and continue to listen to the shows that have the hosts that they trust that has the content that they're interested in, that they find entertaining or informative. And so just by virtue of you being on that show has that authority built into it, right? That you've been validated by that podcast host. And so if they had seen you on Instagram, just seen like a reel that was showing up in their browse feed, they might not know like, is this even a person who knows what they're talking about? Or is it someone who's just pretending, uh, just trying to grow a social media account? But when you show up on their favorite podcast, they're like, oh, well, the only reason they're here is because they must know what they're talking about. And so I think that's the really cool thing is you can trade on that authority. And then once you show up, you just have to hit it out of the ballpark. Boom. Mic drop moment. I mean, if anyone has ever thought about getting on a podcast, this statement that you just made is like, I should have done this three years ago. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, I'm like, why did I even just start my podcast a few months ago? But thank you so much for, for telling us about that. I do agree that we are so starved for time that being able to be on someone's platform, talk to their trusted audience who trust that person's opinion. It's like not even a double like whammy. It's like four things of ROI and like a lowest minimum effort, right? And anyone can pitch and get onto a podcast because there's so many. But the contradictory opinion people might say is, well, are people really listening to podcasts? Because if we're so, um, you know, three second attention span, maybe people aren't even listening to podcasts. So there's a couple different agencies that track consumer data. So Nielsen's is the popular one for television. And they do have some podcast data, but the, the agency, the group that does the best job is called the Edison Group. And they consistently put out information about the consumption of podcasts, not only in the US, but nationally at a platform level, age, demographics, things like that. And the number that always that I look to is number percentage of monthly users or percentage of monthly listeners. So these are people that every single month are listening to podcasts. And so, you know, some weeks are better than others. You have daily podcast users, the hardcore podcast users, but monthly gives you a good idea of the scope of the medium and the reach. And at the end of 2021, they did their standard survey and 41% of adults in the United States are now listening to podcasts on a monthly basis. And so if you think about 41% of adults, that's somewhere between 150, 180 million people every single month tuning into podcasts. And by comparison to YouTube and blogs and social media, there are not that many podcasts. Depending on how you look at it, you're looking at maybe a half a million podcasts that are publishing every single week. And so a half a million podcasts for 150 to 180 million people. And then you identify like these are the podcasts that my business's audiences are interested in. You've really quickly narrowed in on this is a passionate group of people that I can speak directly to for an extended period of time and cut through the noise. There really is no better opportunity to get in front of the right people and have an extended conversation to build trust and authority.